Hi, hello. All right. Good to see y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. This is my training video for math. And I'm, let me just tell you, it took a long time to figure out what I wanted to do because, well, let's just not go there. Anyways, I think one of the most fundamental things about geometry, formulas, and all those things we've been learning about are the triangles themselves. Because you can't create a formula, you can't measure something, you can't determine its volume or area without the triangle. So, let's talk about triangles for just a couple of minutes. There are six different types of triangles. There's probably more, but we're going to look at the primary six triangles, okay? The first one, and they have different, they're different kinds of triangles, right? So let's start with, and we've seen this in our work, the equilateral, you know, I'm not saying that right, but you know what I'm talking about, equilateral triangle, okay? Now, I'm going to draw it here, I'm going to show it to you, okay? So equilateral, the significant thing about an equilateral triangle is that they have three equal sides right now now my drawing's bad here so i'm going to start over one two three essentially they have three equal sides ignore the drawing this is an art class equilateral okay now the second type of triangle that we're going to look at is an isosceles okay so i'm going to draw that for you all right put a big e there isosceles it has two equal sides and that really doesn't look like that so i'll try that two equal sides there we go okay see two equal sides right here and right here obviously this is not equal but we have two equal sides so that makes that an isosceles all right with the i right there all right now we also have something very fundamental it's the right angle triangle. The right, all right? Real simply put, there, there, and get that little right angle there. We'll do a little bit of that, but primarily it's the right angle, right? The right angle there. And we all know that a right angle is what? Yes, 90 degrees. So we have an equilateral, we have an isosceles, and we have the right angle. That's three. So. What are the other three? I'm glad you asked. We also have something called the scalene triangle. S-C-A-L-E-N-E, -E, scaling. It's really easy because frankly, it's a triangle that has zero, no equal size. So we can put there, we can do that, we can do that, and we can do, well, that's really bad because I'm a bad artist. I'll try it again there. Um, oh, longer, and we can go shorter right there. Something like that. So this would be a modified scaling triangle. We have one side that's different than this side. All three sides are different. So we'll call that a scaling. Put an S right there. Scaling, right? So we have equilateral. We have isosceles. We have the right angle. We have the scaling. And now we have the acute angle. Now we've seen this a little bit in class this week. So the acute angle right there, that has three basically acute angles in it. Now what makes this significant is that an acute angle means there is less that there is less than 90 degrees. So these must be let's say they're 45 degrees, right? 45 45. If it's less than 90 degrees, it's an acute tri angle we're going to call that so that's 45 and go all the way around right so we have the acute all right one two three four five one more to go it's an easy one it's the obtuse all right and this is a triangle that primarily is greater than 90 degrees so we're going to assume that uh, it's greater than 90 degrees so that would make that an obtuse it could be any kind of degree it could be 90.1 and it would still be obtuse because it's greater than 90 degrees. Now, thanks for watching. I did the best I could. Happy Thanksgiving.